guys and welcome back to Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Today we're here to talk about two of our newest pigs that we just got in within the last, it's gonna be a week tomorrow actually, which is really nice because I am in love with these pigs. These are probably one of my favorite ones that I've seen in photos before, but I've never seen in person because they're really hard to come by. Uh, we recently just got some a breeding pair of Texels. Um, so what a Texel guinea pig is, is they have wire hair, um, almost like if you, like a dog almost with wire hair, it's kind of the same texture, um, but they also have very curly hair, so they look like a wig, and it's pretty great. I'm in love with them. Um, so we will meet the happy couple right now, they're not together. I might breed in the future, it's not my top priority right now. My top priority of course is rescuing animals, but um, I might look into the future of helping local pet stores and possibly help with that. So who knows? Maybe we will breed them in the future, but that's not a let's do it now because one's still really young. But um, I actually got them when we were at a, a show in I was actually trying to rehome some animals and they didn't want to take a bunch of guinea pigs home with them so they actually gave me these two and uh, five more pigs uh, for free which was pretty nice of them because I was in love with these Texels the whole time. So we can meet the new pigs. I have one right now in my lap, she's going crazy. And I have one eating grass right here. So we can show you the male first. Ooh. The male's a lot curlier. Apparently the female was getting uh, bitten from her other friends that she was living with, so her hair isn't as long right now, but she's doing great in my personal herd, so no one's picking on her. She's very young, so everyone in my herd just really just accepts her. But uh, this one right here that I have in my hands, this is Chell. Chell is, uh, like I said, a Texel pig. So a Texel is T-E-X-E-L. If you guys wanted to do a little bit of research or if you want to look up one for your own because I know they're very cute and I wanted to add them to the rescue for sure because we want to hopefully one day be able to go around to either schools or other events to talk about the importance of guinea pig care and different kinds of guinea pigs that you can get. Um, so these will be ones that that I will be keeping to be able to show off to people. Um, but like I said, this is Chell. Um, Chell, I'm guessing, is roughly about like six months to eight months old. So I'm assuming he's less than a year. Um, he is like kind of an orange color with white with a very curly butt. He did have some mats in him that I did have to um, brush out. You are so cute. <laughs> it's hard working with the pigs because you always want to just play with them. But um, we got business to do, Chell. Uh, so Chell is, like I said, a Texel pig. He's very curly. He's just like a big mop. <laughs> and it's very cute. I find it very, very cute when they look like a big mop. I hope one day to have a Peruvian in the herd. But as of right now, we just have a half a Peruvian because they have the long moppy hair, but these guys come close to the Peruvians based on how their hair just keeps growing and growing and growing, so they don't have a limit like a smooth hair or an Abyssinian would just stop at a certain time. They actually can continue growing just like a Peruvian. He is getting really excited because he wants the grass. Um, I picked fresh grass for them, so they're really excited right now. Uh, so he, like I said, has the curly hair on his butt. He's a cream and white color, or an orangey cream and white color. Um, he is technically breeding standards. If I was to show him, or if I was to breed him, he would be like the standards of guinea pigs um, as of Texel. Um, but yeah, this is Chell. Chell is very cute. <laughs> I'm in love with him already. 
he steals my heart. Uh, Texels actually are very calm natured. They don't do very much like waking or anything like that as of right now. I've heard in the past that they are just very the chill ones in the group, which is really nice because that's what we need. We have a lot of crazy ones, so always to tie it down, it will be good. <laughs> so cute look at your face okay so like I said this is Cho you guys are gonna memorize all the pigs names one day like we do um, so that's Cho eating and then his girlfriend who like I said is not with him but possibly might be with him in the future this is Belle Belle I'm gonna say is roughly about three to four months old she is small so that's why I'm saying she's that old. Um, I don't know the full history of them. The people that I got bought them from a breeder because they wanted to breed Texels, but they're getting out of breeding guinea pigs, so they were just selling them for like $5 a piece and no one was buying them. So they gave me some to take home. And so I got these amazing guinea pigs and a couple more amazing cute guinea pigs that are just normal American and Abyssinian ones, but they're still very cute. Abyssinians are probably my favorite. We have a ton of them here. Here at the rescue but um, this one is Belle. Belle like I said is roughly about that three four month age so she's not gonna be breeding anytime soon if I was to breed her I'd breed her in the next couple months because you want to breed them before they turn one um, she is again breeding standards so she has the perfect rounded face and everything like that um, so her butt hair is a bit shorter than Chell's apparently it was because she was getting picked on by the other pigs that she was with um, but she is a white white skinny pig mainly and then like she's blackish brown covering her ears it's like black more towards her face and it gets like a dark brown around her face. So she is, like I said, trying to grow her hair back. She's actually doing really good. The first day I got her, she had a lot of mats in the back of her, so I did brush her out. Both of them were amazing with being brushed out. I actually have to brush them out again today. Hopefully they do amazing again because they did great the last time. So this, like I said, is Belle. Belle is in my herd now. Um, I had to take a couple people out of the herd because um, they were pregnant, so we're back down to just 19 in the herd. Um, I was down to 18, and then I added Belle in, and Belle's doing great. She goes and she eats with everyone once I feed, and she doesn't fight with anyone. She actually hangs out with all the, all the small little pigs that we have in there. Like, I have a couple baby pigs in there that are around her age, and they all do amazing just running around together which is really good um so this is Belle like I said she's amazing she's super sweet she does come up to me and just look at me but won't let me touch her right now I'm assuming it's because of who had her really didn't do anything with them I think they were just more for just being there to breed which is very very sad um, that's not why I want guinea pigs I want guinea pigs to have them have a happy healthy life um, and also to make sure they get into loving homes because I want to make sure the ones that we are rehoming they go to perfect families that will love them forever and uh, make sure they have loving homes um, but Belle and Cho will be staying with me, like I said, because I hope to educate people, um, whether it's in videos on YouTube or in person, I'm hoping to be able to educate as much as possible. But this is cute Belle. I love her already. Um, <laughs> she's a big snuggle bug. I go down there and I hold her and she loves to be held. She actually loves to snuggle up on my shoulder like a parrot um trying to think of what else anything else special about texels texels like i said just get long curly hair mainly on their torso area and their butt area um their hair doesn't grow long on their face versus like a peruvian they do grow long on their face um also what 
The only thing is they're really well mannered. I know Abyssinians can be crazy and same with American short hairs can be crazy sometimes, but um, they have been known to be very well mannered. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, make sure you guys follow us on Facebook um, at facebook.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Um, I'm always posting daily on there on what's going on, if we get a new rescue, if someone just got rehomed, uh, anything that we're doing. Uh, we're currently trying to sell some fleece items to help pay for costs at the rescue. Also, if you guys want to help with costs for the rescue, I try to post. I'm trying to post daily. I'm trying to get better about it on Patreon, but patreon.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. You can donate there. We have a couple goals set up there on what you can and can help can help out with, which is great. And we appreciate anything um, from a dollar to five dollars. Anything can help for us. Um, anything can help a pig in need. Um, Otherwise, the only other thing that I have to talk about is uh, Instagram. Make sure you follow us on Instagram daily at Instagram.com and then just search me up as Jules Guinea Pig Palace. I try to post new pictures of pigs daily as I get them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much and hope to talk to you again.